Dan, always a tough one to lose 1 0 miserable conditions like that. What's your overall evaluation of the game? Um, I don't think there was a lot in the game. I think Chelmsford are a fairly solid team. But I think a 0 0 draw probably would have been a fair result. Obviously, the goal is what well, the goal is, an uh, individual error, but obviously no one's. No one's shouting anyone out. We're still a positive group in there, and uh, we're hoping to go to Sat go to Tombridge on Saturday and uh, get a result. You said about Chelmsford. It, you played against them a lot of times. You said it was like the Chelmsford of old. Is that right? Yeah, definitely. I think when we played them probably five, six years ago, and they're always there or thereabouts in the playoffs. They're always tough to play against. They always had some big lads. I think you see tonight they're like land of the giants. Sometimes they're putting balls in the box, and it was really difficult to defend. But at the same time, I thought we had some really good spells in the game, and I think we could have deserved something out of it. Of course, I know you haven't figured in the last few weeks, you've been me on commentary or you've been warming up with the players, the hamstring injury, overcome it, you managed to get through 90 plus, yeah. feeling fine? Well, as much as I've enjoyed the contact with you, I think <laughs> it's time to do what I do and that's to get back on the pitch and touch wood. Hopefully now I can have another run in the team and yeah, tonight I felt pretty good. Like I said, there's always that little bit in the back of your mind when you've been out with a hamstring injury, but no, tonight I felt really good. And um, yeah, I thought I played pretty okay. Yeah, you must have done get, get the Man of the Match award, which is also a nice little confidence booster for yourself as well in a game where there wasn't too much in it, really. Yeah, definitely. I think I had quite a few touches of the ball, which is always nice to kind of get my own, like I said, get that confidence back. And I'm now going to train now Thursday, so get some more like minutes into my legs, so to speak, and then hopefully go again um, Saturday and hopefully be involved again. Feels like you're all supporting each other. When you were with me on commentary, you're always wanting Jacob Jones to do really well, who sat out so you could come back in today, and it feels like a good vibe around the players, isn't there? Yeah, definitely. We're all we're all super together. Like I said, even if there's a mistake tonight, no one's getting on the back of that person or no one's kind of slating them. We're all kind of telling to get his chin up and kind of we go again Saturday and I think that's the mentality that we've got to have. We're not here to kind of hammer each other's confidence with that. We're all we're all good people at the end of the day and I think we always want the best for each other and um, the best for the club. Tom Ridge on Saturday mentioned it's going to be slightly different now this year. They've they've reverted to a 3G surface. Played against them presumably for Chippenham last year. What yeah. kind of memories against them? Um, well, we actually went there last year and got called off on a Tuesday night. So if that happens again, then uh, I will not be best pleased. But um, but now like they'll be a good team. They're up and around the playoffs. But we've been good away from home. I think look at the Oxford game on the 4G and the Avon game on the 4G. We played played well at both games. So um, yeah, I don't see no reason why we can't go there and be positive and get a result. Yeah, is it one defeat away, I think, off the top of my head at Ebb's Fleet, league leaders? Is there a theory to that, why you've been better away from home? Um, I, don't, I don't think so. I think I think it's just a case of we've just gone there and for whatever reason we've been really professional, really hard to beat. And I think when you're away from home, you can probably be slightly more defensive, I guess. But um, no, I think we've just put in some really good performances and it's a shame we can't kind of do it at Twitter at the moment, but I'm sure our performance is uh, coming soon. Yeah, we hope, we hope so as well. And we'll see you on Saturday. Well done for tonight. Cheers, guys. Thank you.